Hello, it is me, and I'm going on an adventure today, so I figured you should come join me. Um, today, I have traveled two whole hours down the mountains of North Carolina, all the way down to a state line, <laughs> to the state line. We are going to Carowinds today. Season has just begun for Carowinds. They opened last weekend. This is a cedar, um, a cedar fair park in uh, North and South Carolina. The actual entrance goes up the state line. Um, it's a fairly smaller park. I grew up going to Six Flags Great Adventure in New Jersey. I'm originally from New Jersey. So this park is definitely a lot smaller, but that doesn't mean it isn't awesome. So come join me. Some time has passed and we are now in line waiting to get into the parking lot. And the line is pretty far backed up. There is a little um, Cabela's um, to our left and right. Cabela's is right there and my friend Kat is right there. What's up? And we can see the Intimidator going for a test run. That's cool. In a storm. In a storm of brewing. There was a 30% chance of rain today. And it changed. <laughs> and I guess it changed. I guess that's what were you saying it is? It's part of the experience. Part of the experience. You gotta get a little wet to have a little fun. I'm just gonna leave that there. So we just made it through the gate. There was a tiny little issue with my pass. For some reason on the app, I don't have a QR code to scan. So I've heard through a Carowinds fan page on Facebook that you can still go to customer service or guest services and get a physical card. So to save me trouble, I'm gonna try to go and get that physical card. That way I don't have this problem. I have a drink bottle attached to one of my season passes, but that's technically my fiance season pass. I'm gonna see if they'll still let me claim it. The park is not supposed to open until five, um, it is now like four something. What 430. time? 430. Um, I don't know if they're letting anybody in right now, but there are quite a few coasters running. I'm about to put on my raincoat though, because it looks like it's about to get wet. One thing I love about Carowinds is the entrance. You literally get to walk in with a roller coaster above your head. It's pretty cool. Yeah, Fury didn't exist. So this used to be still like this, but Fury wasn't there. And then they had to hollow all of this out because Fury goes under here. That attraction right there is actually one of the few standing original attractions from Carowinds, which opened in March of 1973. So we are 49 years this park has been open. And not to date my mother, but she was born in the year 1973. Cool things happened in 1973. All right, I had a little trouble getting in, but when I got in, I was able to go to guest services and get my season pass. And also mad props to the lady in guest services. She was super duper nice. Helped me really, really easily. She did it really fast, one, two, three. And now I have a digital copy as well as the physical copy. And, and it's starting to rain. And it's starting to rain. So <laughs> let's see how this goes. This line right here is the state line. We are physically on the state line. And if you look at all the bricks, that's all the counties. So Nighthawk is down today, but that is okay. It is the beginning of the season. We have plenty of time left. To our left here, we have the Intimidator, themed after the one, the only Dale Earnhardt. NASCAR is very big in the South, if you don't already know that. Harmony Hall is apparently famous for its goodies. To my right, I believe, is the Kitty Hawk. And the absolutely not. Just and kidding. the absolutely not. How much do you love that ride? Fuck <laughs> no, We're not talking about Kitty Off here, we're talking about Ripcord. That is a pay for attraction. I've been on that. I think that's Kitty Hawk. It is. Yeah, I like it. Yeah. We've ducked into Camp Snoopy because it has started to rain. It is 4.49, um, the park technically opens at 5, so we got 10 minutes-ish to kill, so we just walked around the Snoopy Camp store. And now we are headed over to Harmony Hall, this is where I'd like to eat this evening, 
heard that this place has some really good eats, so we're about to check out the menu boards. I don't think that the restaurant is open yet. No, it is still closed. We have barbecue, Italian, and apparently a grill. And there is apparently a live band in residence here at Harmony Hall. Start off the day with a low key coaster, the Kitty Hawk. As far as mild coasters go, that was that was pretty rough. That was a pretty cool way to start the day. Um, I would say that you probably want maybe your 10 to 12 year olds would probably like that, but any older than that, they're probably gonna run into like Fury or something. Also, I'd like to point out that if you are a glasses wearer like me, invest in a pair of glasses straps or else it will make you take your glasses off and put them in your shirt. Our next ride, Boo Blasters on Boo Hill. This is a dark ride. Kind of like Midway Mania, except for a little more low key. We just got off Boo Blasters. She whooped my butt. Um, I am apparently less than an amateur, and this thing over here is a master blaster. <laughs> it's my honest opinion that no Carowind strip is complete without a stop on Copperhead Strike or Fury 325. Copperhead Strike is probably one of my favorite attractions in the park from its queue line theming all the way down to the actual attraction itself. I think it is a phenomenal ride. It is pretty high intensity. So if you have older children, this is definitely the ride for them. Or if you're just a thrill seeker like I am, this ride is definitely the ride for you. The theming of this ride was actually incorporated into the land surrounding the ride called Blue Ridge Junction. The story is your visitors to Granny Bird's farmhouse. Granny Bird is a famous maker of jams and marmalades. However, you stumble across her secret still and she has to drive you out. From that point, you're literally sent on a wild ride being chased out of Granny Bird's property. This is a double launching coaster that takes you from zero to 42 miles per hour. This ride features two vertical loops as well as other high speed twists and turns. This ride is a must do, but pro tip, get to it early because the queue definitely fills up. Oh my God, that looks so much fun. It is so much fun. This is genuinely fun. Like, bring your kids, bring your friends, bring your family, bring your grandma. Your grandma will have fun on this ride. I think we made some just straight core memories on the bumper cars. That was fun. Very classic. Can't go wrong with bumper cars. The app is pretty cool, by the way. If you want a specific attraction and you want to know how far away it is and the approximate GPS location, download the app, select that attraction, and hit walk, and it'll sort of direct you. It's super cool. And with that, we are headed to Carolina Gold Rusher. <laughs> And this would be the water park entrance right outside of the Zephyr, but the water park does not open until I believe the first week of June. As you can see, it is kind of rainy here. There is a light drizzle going on. I have my windbreaker. And I have to say, even though it's only the park's been open for about an hour, give or take some time, um, the lines are very short in the rain. And if weather doesn't bother you, coming in on a Friday night, during not so great weather, this might be the time for you. 
Lung, Chick-fil-A, Panda Express, Harmony Hall, one rather eat. They have a Chickies and Pete's. And actually, if you peek right here above the water works or the boat works, that is what it still remains of when Carowinds used to have a skyway system. That is one of the bays hiding in plain sight. Walking on the Carolina Gold Rusher. I'm not sure how long this attraction's been around, but I would definitely consider it for a hot minute. Consider it close to being an original because it's been around for a hot minute. Most things tonight have had barely any line. The longest line we've seen is for the flying cobras and again, empty cues. Two thumbs up. <laughs> One thing I love about Carowinds is that they pack a lot of thrill in a tiny space. So we just got off Carolina Gold Rusher and we're about to hit our first queue of the day at the Flying Cobras. Like, the backwards threw me. I know it goes backwards, but it threw me. You screamed your hair straight. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, she has curly hair. She screamed so loud, it straightened her own hair. We've been in the park for about two hours, and we've done like six or seven rides, which is really impressive. It's really awesome. And actually, I'm gonna check something out regarding my drink pass. All right, getting this drink up was incredibly easy. I added it onto my season pass. I walked up to a refreshment booth. He scanned it, scanned the cup, and I have to uh, do nothing when I want refills. I just have to wait every 15 minutes and that's it. Um, worth it if you have a family, worth it if you're just thirsty and really like Coke products. It is a quite a cute cup. It is Cedar Fair themed all season long, free refills every 15 minutes. We've decided after two hours, of riding rides and getting a refreshment. It's time to get real refreshment and some real food at Harmony Hall. That was one of the things I really wanted to do today. Somebody online on Carowinds fan page was like, go get food at Harmony Hall, it's really good. I have eaten there once during Winterfest two years ago. So let's see if they got anything new. And also I applaud the audio transitions in Carowinds. They are ultimately flawless. Good on you, Cedar Fair, for the audio transitions in the park. It's very impressive. Harmony Hall is a quick service, cafeteria-style eatery featuring Italian, barbecue, grill, poke bowls, and salads. Lots of options here. And we went with barbecue this visit. What'd you get? I got the pulled pork, barbecue, and mac and cheese. We're gonna do, we're gonna do a taste test here. First bite. Pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty good. Pork mac and cheese. Mm -hmm. And I got the brisket sandwich with a side of the mac and cheese. For a little over $15, it really wasn't that bad for each of us to eat. $30 for two people is not that bad. Barbecue. That is a sign of good barbecue. I just very much like to point out that the brisket is literally melting in my mouth. I 
thing for $15. It's really impressive. This might be the cheesiest theme park mac and cheese I've ever enjoyed. Definitely a solid 9 out of 10. Would get again. Yeah, slaughtered everything. <coughs> Y'all sleep on Harmony Hall, I can tell you that right now. All right, that was a really good dinner. Uh, I think value for the price you paid, pretty good too. Um, I get a little bit of a discount for the season pass holder. Um, just fun fact in case you didn't know that, because I went a whole season without knowing I got a discount. So just saying that. Um, as you can see, it is no longer raining. It actually kind of lightened up, which is really nice. We spent a lot of time on the other side of the park over by Blue Ridge Junction, so we're heading over to the other side of the park, more towards Fury. Fun fact, the Carolina Sky Tower was one of the original opening day attractions on March 31st, 1973. Along with theme park history along the walls, you can get a 360 degree panoramic slow moving view of the entire park and even the uptown area of Charlotte. Or if you're just looking for a very mellow attraction, this is definitely it. If you listen carefully while you're taking in the breathtaking views around you, you can hear a brief narration regarding the history of Carowinds. All right, as you can see, it has gotten quite dark outside. Um, I just got off of Fury. This is the ride you come to Carowinds for. Um, I understand now why this queue line 
gets to be about 45 minutes to an hour 20. I think I've seen it one time get that, get that big of a wait. I waited 20 minutes tops. I got the second row. That is the ride you come to Carowinds for. That is amazing. 10 out of 10, 12 out of 10. We'll ride that again they and again. Drop tower. Of course, they have your standard alley games, basketball. Or, I'm sorry, that's not basketball, that is football. They do have a crazy mouse coaster called the Ricochet, which I've seen that ride get about a 45 minutes. Not sure what's going on with Pier 73. You'll notice the 1973 references all around the park. This is that same Carolina Boatworks from earlier from the day. It's all lit up. And you can get a better view of how exactly that used to be the Skyline platform. Now, I did not live in North Carolina when the Sky Ride existed, but you can still see a little bit of that history just by looking up yeah. at the Carolina Boatworks. These crab fries are also amazing. And I stand by my statement from earlier that the sound transitions in this park are fantastic. Yeah, it's not lit up. That ride, I think it does normally light up, but today it's not. In my honest opinion, I think this ride is an eyesore. It looks fun. I'm not a spinning riding person, so this is not a ride that appeals to me at all. But I see that this ride always has people on it, so I can understand how fun it is. But it's not for me. This whole area is Blue Ridge Junction, and everything ties in from Copperhead Strike to the Blue Ridge Country Kitchen. Something I was just notified on because I just refilled my drink cup again and I refilled it on one of the Coke Freestyle machines. When the weather is not great, those machines do run on Wi-Fi. So if the weather is bad, there might be potential for those machines to be down. So please be patient with your Carowinds employees if the machines and the freestyle machines are down. There are other locations like Harmony Hall that will have fountains that you can just fill up your drink at. Again, in every 15 minute intervals, whether you have this all season bottle or the daily bottle. Um, so yeah, just keep that in mind. Um, if the weather is bad, you may experience freestyle machines being shut down. So just FYI, these were working tonight, so that's good. But just keep that in mind and be kind. Upon a return, we will try one of these milkshakes. Get how good they look. All right, so that concludes our trip to Carowinds this time around. We got we're walking, we're walking out with Cinnabon. We're gonna eat it in the parking lot before heading out and recap our entire visit. I just want to point out all the things happening this season from the State Line Celebration, Carolina Harbor, Grant and Carnival, Scarewinds, Trick or Treats, and of course Winterfest. And that is all included with your gold pass. The festival. The festival. Tonight, there was a gentleman on Fury 325 who was talking, checking rides, saying a spiel, literally probably this man could work on the radio. You, sir, made the experience of 325 worth it just on its own. Like, the ride could have broke down and I still would have had a good time just because of you. Um, so... Well, that was some good timing. I tried to get it coming back around, but I missed it on that other shot. But the first shot was pretty nice, right? I am back in the car. I can remove the string from my glasses that is now tangled into my hair. All right, lighting in here is terrible, but that's okay. Overall, I had a great time. What about you? Did you have a good time? Yeah.
Hunger time. Uh, we knocked out a lot of rides in a very short amount of time. I don't know if that's because of the time of year we decided to come. It is only March 18th, so the first week of Carowinds being open of this year of 2022. Um, some of the employees were actually from Cedar Point and other um, states it seemed. Um, it seemed like though they were training a lot of new employees. Um, there are advertisements all over the park for it being $15 an hour. Um, now understand why people come for Fury because Fury is an amazing ride. Super smooth, smooth like butter. Um, but super duper thrilling. Uh, we're gonna chow down on some Cinnabon. I don't have to tell you how delicious and good Cinnabon is. We already know it's good. I don't know. I just, you don't, oh, that's right, you don't know. So surprise, we're gonna add that when you have your first bite. I want you, I, I wanna know how good it is. <laughs> that's right, that was the whole purpose of me getting two cinnamon buns, because you know. Um, I like to end my park day with some sweets, so sometimes it's funnel cake, sometimes it's Cinnabon, sometimes it's... Ice cream. Ice cream, yeah, but today it's Cinnabon. First bite. Bonus footage, first bite. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Holy shit. Right? Oh my god. That is divine. Right? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Cinnabon. This Carowinds visit, like I said, was great. The majority of the rides were open. A lot of food options open. Um, some quick service areas, like little pop-up tent things were down. But that's not the end of the world. You see a lot of who looked like um, trainees coming in and out around 5 o'clock. Um, I may have mentioned this already, but we met a lot of employees from different uh, Cedar Fair parks. Um, there was a young lady working the do, do ride. She was from Ohio. Um, oh my god. Which, that's a crazy... What are we looking at? Oh, money shot of the Cinnabon. Ugh. I got really lucky this visit. I waited 20 minutes for Fury and I got second row. Also, we also knocked out like 10 or 12 rides total. A few flat rides. The carousel included. Carolina Sky Tower, pleasant as always. Really excited to see what they do for the uh, State Line Festival. And I can't wait till they have a regular operation. The entertainment at Carowinds is very interesting. And I'm going to focus on that too because I didn't actually last season. I spend a lot of time going on rides, which is obviously why you go to a theme park. But I'm going to also take into consideration the, uh, the entertainment because um, there's definitely a lot of talent here at these parks. Um, even just from the ride operators and to the people who serve you cinnamon buns. Sweetest kid, sweetest, sweetest human served me these cinnamon buns. So thank you. Um, appreciate you as well. Well, I'm probably going to eat about a quarter of this and then pack it up and then head home.